Just imagine, if you will, a ribbon of footpaths and byways, rivers and creeks, parkland and pasture, winding its way through the Carolina heartland. A ribbon to connect our people, protect resources, improve health, cultivate the economy, and preserve our way of life. Like the great Appalachian Trail to the west, the Carolina Thread Trail is a lasting and open invitation, a monument to bold ideas, a promise to ourselves and future generations that this place shall live on. Once we woke to a rising sun that warmed rolling hills and granite outcrops, verdant meadows and sparkling streams, all through a canopy of green. Blessed by nature's bounty, how swiftly we blazed the trail to prosperity. Trade routes linking distant communities, industry harnessing current, fiber spinning into thread, and soon fields of cotton and tobacco giving rise to a new economy and the comforts of modern life. This land has been in my family for many generations and as uh, the surrounding areas were being developed rather rapidly uh, I felt it would be important to try to save it so kids in the future generation would have some woods to play in and people would know what it used to be like. One of my favorite things on the property are the trees. We have wonderful trees. I enjoy walking and riding um, all seasons of the year on the Greenway. And I love seeing other people out here enjoying it too. Good job. Okay. An audacious spirit marks this land. An equally audacious plan can preserve it. When fully realized, the Carolina Thread Trail will blaze a path through the Carolinas, from the Broad River to the Catawba to the Yadkin PD. Forged by visionary leaders, hands joined in partnership, the thread stitches people and places together. Sanctuary and refuge, thoroughfare and way station, the thread will tie existing greenways, parks and trails and inspire the development of new ones. A bold vision, greater than the sum of its parts, and today within our grasp. But as land becomes more expensive and open space less available, the possibilities are fading right before our eyes. I was born on this land, and I raised my family here, and I worry every day if I can afford to pass it on to my sons. I'm considering a conservation easement for flexibility. That would keep the land in the family and a working farm in the community. The land bears silent witness to the care we bestow upon it. The thread trail will be woven with gifts of private capital for trails and land conservation and strengthened through matching public grants. With support from thread trail leaders, local communities can chart their own trails and where they take up the thread. Local in flavor, regional in scale, the thread invites neighbors and newcomers to discover and explore. I support the Thread Trail because it makes our communities more livable. Open space attracts tourism and businesses and promotes healthy lifestyles. All these things benefit our citizens and strengthen the region as a whole.
Across America, where signature regional trails lead, real economic benefit follows. We see it in new construction jobs and spending, rising property values and tax revenues, increased tourism, cleaner water and air, and alternative means of transportation. But one of the most powerful and lasting values of a regional trail is as a gateway to improved health. When we decided to buy a home, we chose a development with a greenway. And that's great. We can get out on the trail and exercise as a family. Time was a day's work raised the heart rate. Now we look for ways to be physically active. With its varied terrain and mixed habitat, the thread invites a wide range of pursuits and promises to attract recreational enthusiasts from near and far. Escape the office for an afternoon. Spend a day outdoors. Or take a week to reconnect with all the wonders of nature. The choice is yours. connected by nature. The thread is free, accessible, and inclusive. It encourages us to work and play together. I think of it as a meeting place for people, for communities, and for culture. <laughs> Once there were no virtual tours, we made memories in the places we visited, and discoveries were our souvenirs. The thread will wind among local points of interest, a string of historic sites, arenas, state parks, universities, gardens, museums, natural features, and wildlife preserves. Under this rock. It's a salamander. Well, it's a salamander. Open your hand, honey. I'll show you. Once, Carolina's canopy of green sheltered us all. But as the gaps in the canopy grow, the divide between our children and the natural world deepens. Rich with experience from an earlier time, we remember the sweet song of the river, the smell of new mown hay, the soft touch of the forest floor. If we lose our connection, what will they remember? What will they know? Do you remember when you were a kid, those great summer days of dabbling your toes in a clear stream? Do you remember the warm evenings with the sea of lightning bugs? I sure do. And I believe those experiences belong to all of our children. We hold their natural resources in trust, and we're at a crossroads. Do we act now to assure that tomorrow's children can enjoy the experiences that we grew up with? Or do we risk losing them forever? The time for us to choose is now. And we need you, our leaders and our neighbors, to say yes to the children of tomorrow. Yes to the beauty of wide open spaces. Yes to a vision for the future. Yes to the value of connection. Yes to the world we share. I hope you will say yes to the Carolina Thread Trail.